Welcome back to Jason Bowman Loves Cars. I'm Jason Bowman, and I love cars. Today I'm going to tell you my story of the Infiniti G35. I hope you enjoy it. Infiniti G35 coupes have been coming up in my Facebook Marketplace search of under $10,000 in manual transmission. Now that these cars are in the realm of affordability, they are definitely worth a second look, or in my case, a first look. On March 12, 2002, the 2003 Infiniti G35 model was released in North America. The marketing for the G35 was quite clever. The G was assembled in Japan. It had little in common with the previous front-wheel drive Infiniti G20 and continued the tradition of the original J30 and the Infiniti M, which were also rear-wheel drive models with the Nissan Z drivetrains. Pen the design for the G35 Coupe. I'm Jackie McLaren. Please remember to like and subscribe and comment to Jason Bowman Loves Cars. Infiniti G35s were based on the FM platform shared with the Nissan 350Z and the Infiniti FX. FM stands for Front Midship Engine Placement. The G35 was chosen as Motor Trends Car of the Year for 2003. The G35 also made car and drivers 10 best lists for 2003 and 2004. The Infiniti G35 was powered by the VQ35DE engine. The Infiniti G35 had a front midship mounted engine with rear wheel drive. This layout provided almost perfect weight distribution with 52% front and 48% rear. Both the 5 speed auto tragic Jatco RE5R05A tip tragic or a proper 6 speed manual transmission were available. For the 2003 and 2004 model years, the V6 produced 280 horsepower and 270 foot-pounds of torque. From 2005 till 2007, automatic transmission equipped cars made 280 horsepower and 270 foot-pounds of torque, while those with the manual transmission produced 298 horsepower and 258 foot-pounds of torque. Manual transmission cars had a slightly different engine than the automatics. Manual cars had engines with variable valve timing on both the intake and the exhaust camshafts. Automatic cars only had VVT on the intake side. 2003 and 2004 six-speed manual models had optional Brembo Pornstar brakes and a performance tire and wheel package. The coupe was refreshed. refreshed. The coupe was refreshed for the 2005 and 2006 model years. The interior got sportier gauges with better backlight and higher quality knobs and trim. Real aluminum trim replaced the tinted interior trim and the center console and dash layout were revised. Rosewood trim became an available option on the 2005 models. The cassette player was replaced with an MP3 WMA playback capable 6 disc in-dash CD player. The Brembo brake option was axed for the 2005 and 2006 models. In the bin! The standard brakes were redesigned with larger discs and a different caliper design. A sport tuned suspension package became standard on all manual transmission equipped models. The package included a viscous limited slip differential and the higher output VQ35DE engine. The 2006s got a mild cosmetic refresh with new headlights, taillights, spoiler, side skirts, and front bumper. The G also got blue teeth for hands free cellophone use. Active rear steering also became optional. Stock performance. Car and driver tested an automatic 2003 G35 coupe and it did 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.6 seconds and did the quarter mile in 14.4 at 98 miles per hour. Oddly, nobody seemed to have track tested the 2005 up rev up engine G35 coupe. The 0 to 60 times database claims the 2005 G35 sedan manual did 0 to 60 in 5.8 seconds and did the quarter mile in 14.1. I assume the coupe would have run similar times. Aftermarket performance. The aftermarket is huge for the G35. Cold air intake. Cap back exhaust. Performance cams. Supercharger kits. 
Suspension goodies are also limitless. Coilovers. Thicker sway bars. Strut tower braces. Tubular control arms. Like totally tubular. Racing. Infinity G35s are often drag racing. Wow, that G35 took that Civic to Gapple Beast. The G35 is great for autocross. second nature for the G. The ample trunk makes the G35 a great car to smuggle drugs into Mexico. And uh, as for drugs, well, drugs are bad. You shouldn't do drugs. Perhaps the best use of G35 is to carve up some canyons on a beautiful summer's day. Wait, what was that? Holy crap, another jackalope sighting. Run. Hello, I am Jackie McLaren. I interrupt this YouTube show for an important service announcement. Jackalopes only kill, on average, 15 humans per year. That is only slightly more than sharks. Therefore, there is no reason to be terrified of us. Thank you for your understanding. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. Buying a G35. There are a few things to look out for on these cars. Many say the paint quality on these cars is a little iffy. These cars are almost 20 years old, so these people should stop whining and do a repaint or a wrap. Another common complaint with these cars is oil consumption. This is a difficult one. It is said they had soft piston rings. Some claim inconsistent maintenance is the real cause. They say checking the oil cap for sledge is a good way to determine if the car was properly looked after. An oil catch can is said to be a good fix. The stock head units on the 2003 and 2004 cars are said to be problematic. In the bin! The bushings in the front suspension compression arms wear quickly from the factory. A good aftermarket solution is to replace them with polyurethane bushings. VMR Canada claims a 2003 Infiniti G35 is worth between $1825 and $6175. VMR also claims a 2005 is worth between $2700 and $7,775. I peeked on Marketplace and the VMR numbers looked about right. I couldn't find any predictions on the future values of G35s, but in my opinion, they're a pretty cool enthusiast car for not a lot of money. Thanks for watching Jason Bowman Loves Cars. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Thanks for watching my story of the Infiniti G35. <laughs>
Hello. Announcement. Okay. We're important. I can't say anything. Okay, why don't you, okay so the first. Uh, I on, need more water. One, two, three, go. Hello, I am Jackie McLaren. I interrupt this YouTube show for an important announcement. Three, go. Hello, I am Jackie McLaren. I interrupt this YouTube show for an important.